Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Cornaya's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be cooking some spaghetti, you guys. I'm going to be cooking some nice, good old spaghetti. Yes. So, y'all, I am doing the spaghetti. So, basically, right now, I am cooking the ground beef. I'm cooking the ground beef. I already broke it up. I stir it up really nicely. I season it really good. You guys, I don't have no bell peppers and onions. And I'm so mad because I cook bell peppers and onions in every single recipe that I do. I use bell peppers and onions every single night that I cook, you guys. That is my favorite vegetable in the world. Oh, my God. I just love bell peppers and onions. So, I'm so mad right now that I don't have no bell peppers and onions. So, you guys, this is the seasoning that I am cooking. I put some garlic salt in my ground beef. I put some, and this time I did like a different recipe because I usually do like a um, certain recipe, but I'm doing a different recipe this time. But yeah, I did some Laura's garlic salt, some Dash Original Seasoning Blend, some Louisiana Cajun Seasoning. I did some black peppercorn, black pepper. Um... And also, I'm going to put my tomatoes in here really soon. Um, I'm going to throw all my tomatoes in now. I have two jars of Prego sauce. I have the roasted garlic and herb, which is so delicious, you guys. I love this flavor. Also, you guys, I have the premium better than bouillon beef. You see, I have the roasted beef base. Y'all, when I tell you, this roasted beef base is so delicious, so good, you guys. You can either do the better than bouillon roasted beef base or you can do the um you can do the cooking stock beef right here you see the swanson cooking stock beef or you can do um the other one it's another one it's called um you can either do the the beef broth or you can do the cooking stock beef but i mostly do beef broth or i do the better than bouillon roasted beef base you guys so, basically, I already put my seasoning in my meat. I'm cooking my meat right now. You guys, I got my noodles over here cooking down. You see, I got my noodles. I'm about to get ready to stir my noodles in just a little bit. I'm going to stir my noodles in just a little bit, you guys. Like I said, I don't have no bell peppers and onions, and I'm so mad. So, the only vegetable that I will be putting in there is the um, diced tomatoes, the Del Monte diced tomatoes. Um, also, you guys, I put two organic bay leaves in there also two organic bay leaves i rinsed it off really good and put it in there you guys i'm also gonna cut up some tomatoes over here with some green onions i don't have any um sweet onions and bell peppers and i'm so mad right now you guys so yeah so yeah all right so y'all i cut up the green onions and i cut up the roma tomatoes these are roma tomatoes and these are the green onions like i said i don't have any bell peppers and onions y'all so i'm just you know so upset because like i said i put my bell peppers and onions on everything oh y'all by the way i did one pound of pasta i did one pound of pasta um spaghetti pasta instead of two pounds i did one pound but i think i should have did the whole two pounds see look at that <laughs> i should did the whole two pounds um and right here i did the i did one pound of ground beef instead of two pounds okay you guys so i'm gonna pour the del monte diced tomatoes in here now mm -hmm. this is the basil garlic and oregano okay basil garlic and oregano yes you guys and i'm also gonna pour the roma tomatoes and the green onions Y'all, I really wish I had some um, bell peppers on it, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay, this is the Roma tomatoes and the green onions. Oh, you guys, I also got to put the um, roasted beef base, better than bouillon beef in here. I almost forgot, you guys. Usually, I put this in here. 
after I put the one cup of water, um, y'all, I've already put the one cup of water in here after I drained my grease. I drained my grease off of my ground beef, and when I drained all the grease off of it, um, I put one cup of water in here. Yes, you guys, I did the one cup of water for sure. Now, you guys, like I said, if you do the um, beef broth that's in the Swanson container or if you do the beef chicken stock, I mean the beef stock, then you won't have to worry about putting water in there. But because it's the um, it's the base, it's the beef bouillon base, um, you're going to have to put water in there, you guys. And you just stir it up really, really well, really well. Also, you guys, um... I usually do the Tony Shasher seasoning, but I ran out of it. That's why I had to do the, um, I had to just substitute and just do like a different seasoning. Um, cause I usually do the Tony Shasher seasoning, but I didn't have any, you guys. So like I said, I stirred up the, um, the beef base and the meat. I stirred up really good. You guys, um, I still have put one cup of water in here and then put in the, um, a spoonful or two spoonfuls of beef base. I did two spoonfuls, by the way. Two um small spoons for, um not a teaspoon, but it was a half a spoon. Is this spoon right here? So basically a whole teaspoon, cause this is a half a teaspoon. But anyways, um, you don't have to put one cup of water in here and then put the two um the one teaspoon of beef. You can put it in a bowl. So that's what I usually do. You can put it in a bowl. You can get a bowl get one cup of water and then you can do um a teaspoon of beef bouillon and you can put it in there and stir it up really well really good you guys um sometimes i do the cubes you guys and with the cubes i just put like two cubes in there um and then put a cup of water and just stir it up real good or either two cups of water but you guys now i'm about to put the prego sauce roasted garlic and herb this is a um this is one pound eight ounce prego sauce roasted garlic and herb or 24 ounces so um i'm doing two 24 ounces of uh prego roasted garlic and herb and um did i tell y'all how many ounces the okay so i did i did two cans of the diced tomatoes dale monte diced tomato two cans and it is a 14.5 ounce you guys, the second can cannot fit up in here, so I'm gonna have to pour it in the spaghetti. <laughs> Cause the second can cannot fit. Okay, so you got this kind is just the diced tomatoes. This is the diced tomatoes. Now the other one was a different flavor. This is the diced tomatoes. And this right here is the diced tomatoes, basil, garlic, and oregano, no salt added. Like I said, I did two cans of the Del Monte diced tomatoes um it's 14.5 ounces each 14.5 ounces each i'm gonna put the prego in here now i'm gonna do the two jars of prego i'm gonna do the two jars and you guys i like to put a little water in here and then shake it up and then Pour it in there to make sure I have all of it, you know. Make sure I have every little piece of sauce that's in that jar, y'all. Y'all, I really wish I had my ring camera. My ring camera is kind of tore up at the moment. Um, it works, but it's just it can't really stand up on its own. So that's why I'm not using my ring camera, you guys, which makes it kind of hard to record. That's why I didn't record myself cutting up the green onions and aroma tomatoes. Because I really can't cut it up while holding the phone. I already cut myself several times before, y'all. I'm just always cutting myself. I don't need to cut myself no more. Like I said, it have like a little bit more in here. So I just get like a little water, put it in there, shake it up real good. And both of them. And just pour it on in there, you guys. Which is, boom, bam, perfect. <laughs> so now I'm about to give the um, spaghetti a great stir. All right, you guys, so I have stirred it up really nice and well. Now I'm going to pour the meat inside of the spaghetti. I'm wondering 
wondering if I should take the bay leaf out or just leave the bay leaf in there. Um, I usually leave the bay leaf in there, y'all. So I'm gonna just leave the bay leaf in there. You guys, I'm gonna have to do like I usually do and just get another um just get another pot like I usually do. So y'all, I decided to put it in two different pots because that was just way too much food for that one pot and it was going to tip over y'all. This is what I usually have to do. I have to put it in like two pots. Y'all, by the way, the reason why my voice sound like this because I kind of lost my voice a little bit. Yeah, I kind of lost my voice a little bit. So that's why my voice kind of sound kind of like, you know, I don't know how it sounds. It just sounds different. But yeah, you guys, I basically had to put it in two pots because like I said, um, I didn't want it to tip over. Yeah, y'all, I lost my voice, so I'm going to have to end this video because I lost my voice. I just want to show y'all um, the ending result of my spaghetti. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, I don't have no bell peppers and no onions, but that's okay because I had a lot of vegetables to go in it. Um, also sometimes I not only do ground beef, but sometimes I also do like the little, um, like the little beef sausages to go in the spaghetti. I do like the beef sausages and, um, that comes out really nice, really well. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video to the very end. Thank you so very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me in Cornelia's Kitchen. Until next time.